Hi, my name is Florence Tang, and today I'm going to show you how I search the ERIC database. The Mercer University Library homepage is located at libraries.mercer.edu. To search within the ERIC or Education Resources Information Center database, select databases, and then the letter E. Scroll down and select ERIC. From this screen, you can enter your Mercer University ID number in the username box, and the password will be the same password that you use for my Mercer or your email. If you are an employee, the username will be your last name underscore first initial, middle initial, and the password is the same password that you use for your email. Enter your keywords. Check the box below peer reviewed if your assignment requires you to use peer-reviewed academic journal articles. One of the ERIC database's strengths are the options for you to limit your search. Select the student population's education level. If you would like to select more than one category, hold down the control key while selecting additional categories. I like to select English under language to limit the results to English language resources. If you wanted to find research using a specific assessment, survey, or test, you could enter the name of the measurement under assessment and survey identifiers. Select search. To view the abstract or summary of an article, select the title. The first section that I look at after an initial search is at the descriptors field. Descriptors are the standardized vocabulary from the ERIC thesaurus that is assigned to describe the content. Some of the words that I see in the subjects of relevant articles are reading and animals. I can do another search for reading appearing in the subject field. And animals appearing as an exact descriptor. Some of the articles are available full text within this database. Some may be available full text in another database. And some are available on Eric's government website. When using library databases, it is best to use the links provided by the database to navigate when available instead of using the back and forward buttons as one would do surfing the internet. Using the databases links will make it less likely that you will be popped out of the database after logging in. 
Also, you will be able to select search history to view what your earlier searches were for and what the corresponding results list were for them. If you have any questions, you can go to the library's homepage and select Ask a Librarian in the top right corner. Here you can synchronously chat with the librarian online you can enter the Ask a Librarian Zoom room during hours that the room is staffed, search our Frequently Asked Questions bank, email us or call us at the Swilly Library, the Tarver Library, or the Douglas or Henry Center Libraries.